So today we're going to look at an MR2 Spider. I'm gonna go drive my truck to see this fucking machine. Hopefully it's a pretty nice machine. Hopefully it's not molested or anything. But yeah, this is my truck. The retired state trooper. So, so a coworker of a place that I used to work at, he was like, hey. The customer came in, they're, they're trying to get rid of the spider, so we'll find out how much they're asking for it. And I was like, what? Shit. So the first thing I wanted to do was like, alright, I am interested. How much? He replied with $600 and $300. I'm like, that's too good to be true. But shit, I'm still going to go look at it. So I hope by the end of this video I get to leave with a spider. Or a title for a spider. We'll see. So I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see. A few moments later. So it's fucking, that's brick as fuck out there. It's like 40 to 30 degrees cold outside. So I had to put a jacket on. So I got to look where the fuck my charger's at. And I'm like losing my mind. Where the fuck did I put One eternity later. Oh, here it is. Hey, there it is. All right. So we'll be back. So I'm going to try to get out. Not today. Oh, it's a female. With a resting bitch face syndrome. With this thing, everybody like slows the fuck down when they see me. They're like freaking the fuck out. I go, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Brake checking. Brake checking left and right. Look how safe these drivers go whenever they see me. But when I'm in a RAV4, these motherfuckers are hauling asses. Look at that WX, but he's going pretty fucking slow. Yeah, go to the shop. I need repair for your local rat here. I won't disclose my my uh my location but if you're from around here and you recognize that sign then yeah hell yeah go to this fucking place they do a pretty good job now that i work here i work at a dealership so it's 3:49. i just came back from the shop uh, and the guy who's supposed to drop off the car is uh we gotta go follow him so the car cost is 400 dollars so fucking stoked to get this thing he says it needs front end repair but i mean i do have a whole front end in my backyard so we'll see for when, when uh we'll see when the car gets here yeah I, I really hated the scrap i was gonna scrap it but i hated to scrap it because the engine was good yeah and uh I've, I've had a lot of mr2s i actually had a 93 mr2 turbo and when i sold it I sold it about six years ago. Yeah. It only had 41,000 miles on it when I sold it. Yeah, I had the uh, the same exact MR2, except that I did the Lotus Exige motor swap in it. Yeah. And I run a 7 PSI uh, with turbo. Fucking destroyed. It got rear-ended. Oh. Yeah, so it got the whole front I end. remember that. I, I towed your car. Yes, I you towed did. it when you wrecked it. Oh shit! Holy yeah. fuck! Remember? Man, yeah. yeah, you you were like, man, I put so much work in this thing. That's crazy. You had the wheel. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yes. Wow, what a small world. I know. That's crazy. I tell you, there's a guy, my friend, is, is right here in the right ID. They fucking crash it. Yeah, the whole yeah. The insurance is like, yeah, you can have it and hear some bread. Like, oh, okay, great. Listen, man. I mean, you decide you want. I, I, I. You know what? I'm only gonna get about 250 for it and yeah. scrap. Okay, I told him I wanted four. I really wasn't gonna take less than four. Since it's you, if you want it, three, 300 bucks, man, I'll take it to your house. What? Right. So. Okay, uh, you know what? Get your box and start it up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm fucking stoked. Yeah, you might buy the one with four. We're about to see the condition of this motor, and all we gotta do is just fucking <laughs> do a lot of body work. Got 
aftermarket head unit. Okay. The engine's so quiet. That's why I remember how to... That doesn't look completely destroyed. Not at all. Get another support bracket. Got everything for this thing. Yeah. What's the matter with this? I don't know. Yeah. What's the matter with <laughs> this is probably uh, an impound. It, it, it just because oh. this wasn't here yesterday either. I bought this I one. I can see why I got I it. I bought this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's already loaded. Yeah. Okay. I know, right? I don't need nothing on it. So, so what's the, obviously it's the insurance considered a total, right? Which one? Car? Yeah. Yeah. So how does it work? I kind of get this one on the road. And I'm planning on to get it to do a lot of out of cross road. That's what I do. Oh, you, you want to get that back on the road? Okay, Here, here's the thing with, with uh, cars. Um, the guy didn't even turn it into insurance. All he did was sign me over the title. As far as the insurance company's aware of, um, the car was never even in an accident. Wow. So that, that title is actually clean. It's just the car that's wrecked. Yes. Um, the only time, for future reference, the only time a, a title ever goes into salvage is if uh, the insurance, if the guy makes an insurance claim and then actually turns the car into the insurance company. Gotcha. So even let's say he had full coverage and the insurance company um, said, "Oh, the car's totaled. Um, we're going to pay it off." If he, he, you can actually say, "Well, what's the buyback?" Like I had a Mustang and. Uh, they go, why, well, you want to keep the car? The adjuster asked me. I said, yeah, man, the car's clean. It, it's got 87,000 miles on it. I said, it was hit It was hit on the door and the beep, on the, the beep post in the back. So it had like a little bit of the quarter panel damage. They totaled out the car. Yeah. I, I was actually selling the car for, I was selling it for like four grand. And because um, it was a, it was an 89 LX. Wow. 5.0 with yeah. a five speed. Yeah. So, um, the car, the car only had like 80, 89,000 miles, something like yeah. that. So I was selling it for four grand. They actually valued the car at $4,900. So they cut me, he said, we'll cut you a check for 4,900. Yeah. And I said, what's the buyback? Cause I want to keep it. And he goes, you want to keep it? I'll just deduct $25 off the settlement yeah. check and you can keep the car. Sure. All right. So they cut me a check for 4,875 and, uh, and I kept the car. I drew it for three years like that. And, um, you know, the, the title was fine. Yeah, that's, that's... There it is. Shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, so this is it. Need some love. Because the guy who had it didn't know how to drive and crashed it. Well, actually spun out and hit the Atlantic City Tunnel. So there's no reported accident on this thing. So it should be quite frankly easy to get this thing back on the road. So I'm going to have to take all this crap and inspect it all very thoroughly.